President Trump and the nation's top health leaders tried to calm the nation's concerns over the coronavirus. Vice President Mike Pence is now in charge of the nation's response to the outbreak. Meantime, in the Bay Area in California, the CDC confirmed the first coronavirus case that spread from an unknown origin. In Los Angeles, a flight attendant tested positive. She works for Korean Air on a flight that operates out of LAX. Now, the news is causing some would be travelers to question whether it is safe to go abroad. Fox 5's Josh Rosenthal is live at National Airport tonight with what you need to know. Josh? Sean, just tonight we learned that Fairfax County Public Schools has canceled international trips to and from certain countries. It is that type of headline day after day, seemingly at this point, hour after hour, that has got a ton of people, especially those people coming and going from places like this, awfully concerned. I uh, hope I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know what's a how to protect myself. I definitely have my eyes open. I'm listening to the news. I'm reading the reports. Well, I travel 30 days from now. It'll depend on what happens in the uh, country between now and then. You're monitoring it. Oh, yes. Okay, there are the concerns. Here's what you need to know. We reached out to travel expert Troy Petenbrink. He said the coronavirus does not mean you shouldn't travel. It just means you have to travel smart. So how do you do that? First, he recommends going to two websites, one from the CDC and one from the State Department. We've posted the links on fox5dc.com. Both sites are set up for travelers, and both have all kinds of information about the coronavirus. So on the State Department site, for instance, they tell you where you should or shouldn't go right now. On the CDC site, they have specific advice for different destinations. Destinations, for cruise ships, for airlines, you name it. The bottom line, Pete and Brink said, is if you educate yourself and follow all these recommendations, you should be okay to travel and to have a good, safe time. Be cautious. Uh, don't go to the places where CDC is saying don't go, and where it's saying you definitely need to be on higher alert, be on a higher alert. And don't forget, there's some really simple, easy stuff that you can do to try and stay healthy, like, for instance, avoiding sick people if you can. And really, really simple, wash your hands and use soap. Guys.